All right, everybody, a good morning, good morning, good morning. We are live, we're on the air. It's time for a very special event here from the Clear Concepts team. Uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you for taking some time uh, out of your morning. Uh, if you're watching this recording later on, again, thank you so much for taking some time. Very excited, very, very happy to be uh, together to talk about our Clear Concepts app and launch it to the world and to our managed customers. Just a few pieces of housekeeping. Uh, we'll go through uh, our speakers, a uh, real quick agenda today. Uh, we've got a jam-packed hour, uh, or I guess 59 minutes now. If you have to leave, don't worry, we're going to make a recording. Uh, we'll have that available on our website, on our uh, Clear Concepts YouTube channel within the next uh, few hours as well. So if the doorbell rings or a colleague knocks on your door, uh, don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. We'll make sure we get a copy of that recording to you. Uh, if you're having any audio visual problems uh, with the Teams live event, with the Teams meeting here, uh, recommendation is just um, just exit, quit Teams, restart Teams, and join in again. That usually fixes uh, any audio or video problems within the meeting. And last but not least is uh, we've got some time towards the end of the session for questions. Uh, between Kyle, Angelica, myself, the rest of the Clear Concepts team, uh, we're on board here to answer questions as well. You can use the Q&A module. It should be in the top right corner of your Teams window, a little chat bubble with a question mark there. If you want to reply to anything that we're posting, if you want to ask uh, your own questions, please don't feel shy. Uh, no such thing as a silly question. We love answering everything. So. Let's dive right into it. Uh, you've likely heard my voice and seen my face before, as well as my co-pilot today is Kyle Braun. Uh, my name is Ryan Bialik, and I'm the manager of AI and modern work here at Clear Concepts. Kyle and I are going to take turns. Uh, we're going to go in and out as we show you the, the ins and outs of the Clear Concepts app and uh, hopefully get you really excited about using this new tool. So. Uh, before we uh, tease into that, let's talk real briefly, though, about uh, Clear Concepts. Again, lots of uh, folks joining today are Clear Concepts customers. Again, so very happy to have you uh, part of our family. But a lot of attendees here today are new to Clear Concepts, maybe considering doing some business with us in the future. So just to recap, we are a full service IT, uh, managed IT and cybersecurity shop. The team is constantly growing. I think we're well over 55 uh, professionals now across all of the different departments within Clear Concepts. We are, of course, a Microsoft shop, uh, Microsoft Direct, and a solution partner with uh, several different designations across uh, the Microsoft stack. Uh, of course, uh, we're not shy about our award-winning approach to modern work, uh, how we get customers into Microsoft 365 and Teams and across that practice. And more importantly, it's, it's uh, really going to show today our four years of AI experience. Uh, and really sort of mirrors the the story that we're going to tell you today about the Clear Concepts app. And again, if you didn't know, uh, we serve clients right across North America, uh, not just here in Winnipeg, not just here in Manitoba, uh, but right across the continent. So the Clear Concepts app story. We have to go back in time a little bit. Um, as as I say, we're going to Tarantino this one and start with the uh, with the beginning. And our journey on this app, our journey on this piece of work, our journey, what we're going to deliver today, actually started well over three years ago. Uh, it was originally con uh, conceptually a Teams-only chat interface. We're chatting back and forth to get IT answers or to run automated processes or just to get support, uh, perhaps from a technician, was, again, uh, centered in Microsoft Teams. It was a little slow. I jotted down here that, that we've made maybe five major revisions in the last three years. But I think if you ask our development team, I, I've probably recommended maybe closer to 15 major revisions. Um, but all in all, uh, we're very, very happy with the with the end result. Uh, not saying that we're finished by any means, but um, this project has also really accelerated and really evolved in the last few minutes with AI, with everything that's going on in the last uh, little while with artificial intelligence. We've baked that into the app and it's really changed how we plan on delivering it. 
Keeping going on the app story, it's it's really a, a team of teams. Uh, it's been an incredible team effort here. I'm so proud of how it's all come together, uh, but it's been a great learning experience for us across uh, topics like software integration, uh, getting everything to work behind the scenes. Uh, we've developed our DevOps practice and learned how to develop software as a team. Uh, of course, the data analytics piece of the app is crucial for us. It will be crucial for the success of the app and learning other things like user interface design, um, bringing in some brilliant people to work on those aspects of the app, as well as the AI and machine learning that underpins the entire app. And it's, uh, again, been a team of teams where we've had input from our development team, from our service desk team, from those that are first on the first lines uh, going to be helping clients with the power of this app, as well as our sales and marketing teams that have contributed to the success along the way. It's really been, uh, again, a very, very exciting uh, project, and I'm very, very proud of the cooperation across all of Clear Concepts. Uh, and a quick shout out to those organizations that were our beta testers. Uh, we had about a, a half a, a dozen or so customers that have been on that three year or maybe two year plus journey with us uh, as we made those 15 major revisions to get to the end product here. If we keep going with the Clear Concepts app story, what really struck out, uh, what really struck us or, or stood out in the last three months was how we've crafted the experience for three different unique constituencies. So it is one app under the hood, uh, but really serves three different purposes. First of all is end users, our customers users, or our customers customers, if you will. Uh, these are the, the folks that use IT day to day to get their job done. And when something goes wrong or there's a new, new opportunity with technology, they're reaching out to Clear Concepts. So we wanted to develop uh, a great experience for them to get that level of IT support. The second constituency is uh, customer admins, not necessarily technology administrators, um, but those that we deal with at the account level, uh, where more of the business relationship is held and managed and maintained. And again, um, the conversations are slightly different. The objectives are slightly different, but we did want to bring some um, benefits and time savings to customer admins, business owners, uh, finance folks that we deal with. Again, uh, within our customer accounts. And last but not least is our technicians. Uh, our service desk team here at Clear Concepts is a massive benefactor to the Clear Concepts app. Uh, we'll show a little preview of the technicians app that they use, again, with the goal of providing our users and Clear Concepts managed customers the best and the fastest IT support uh, through this app paradigm. All in all, uh, we had a few goals, and uh, in a few moments, Kyle's going to take you through a demonstration of all sorts of different features that we have ready to go. Uh, I'll be talking about future development of the app, uh, how you can get it in your organization, and what the future looks like for the Clear Concepts app. But our goals were really, really simple. We want to help our customers and our customers' users save time. We wanted the Clear Concepts app to be available anywhere. We'll talk about deployment options and uh, choices here. As you can see from this slide, it's available on PC, it's available on your mobile devices as well. And we'll get into that again in a few minutes. We wanted it to look great. We wanted it to look modern and clean. And again, a few of those major revisions have been user interface and user experience development. And we've learned a lot there about uh, less being more, obviously. Uh, but we wanted it, again, to look good on all sorts of different devices. We want it to be easy to use, where we know a lot of portals and a lot of software that's designed um, to bring a lot of information together can be very confusing. And last but not least is AI. Uh, AI, AI, AI. I don't think I, I can't repeat it much more than that. Uh, when we got our hands on the latest AI tools, the generative AI, the open AI tools, and we learned how we could infuse that into this app experience, it was a complete game changer. Uh, AI, as you'll see through Kyle's demos and uh, what we're working on into the future, 
AI is a very important piece here. Uh, and twofold, one, it greatly uh, accelerates the support experience and it gives great results, uh, but also can be an inspiration for you, for your colleagues on how AI can be used and implemented in your own businesses. So with that, uh, I'm going to turn the mic over to Kyle Braun uh, for some demos. Kyle, take it away. Thank you so much, Ryan. Um, yeah, like Ryan said, I'm super thrilled to be able to demo the Clear Concepts app for all of you today. Um, so let's just dive right in here. OK, so. Um, so as shown on screen, we've got the Clear Concepts app open here. Um, and once you open the app, whether it be in a, a browser or on your mobile device or any of the other um, uh, platforms you have uh, available to you, once you open it up, you'll you'll see the Clear Concepts Copilot located right at the top of the screen here. Now, if you've used ChatGPT or the Microsoft Copilot before, interacting with the Clear Concepts Copilot is going to feel very familiar. So as you can see right at the top here, we have a number of suggested prompts. Um, now these are going to provide a few different use cases of the platform. So to begin, you can either click one of these suggested prompts or you can type your own in uh, within this chat box here located at the bottom of the screen. Now, once you're finished your message, you can either push the enter key on your keyboard uh, or you can go ahead and click the Ask Copilot button, and that'll be located near the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now, whenever you're looking to start a new conversation with the Clear Concepts Copilot, you'll just go ahead and click the Start Over button. That'll be located just to the left of Ask Copilot. OK, so now that we know what the Clear Concepts Copilot is and where it's located, let's walk through a few examples together to help demonstrate its functionality. So suppose we're experiencing some issues with one of our Microsoft 365 applications. So in this case, uh, as you can see, we're running into some problems with our Outlook program. So as you can see here, we've simply described our issue uh, in plain non-technical language. Now, while we didn't include this here, it can be helpful to you know, include any error messages or error codes that you're receiving from that application as well. Um, so once we have typed in our prompt, uh, we'll go ahead and hit enter here and see what we get in return. So as shown, uh, we were able to get a few potential solutions uh, to our Outlook problem uh, just by typing in uh, the specifics of the issue that we were experiencing to the copilot. Uh, we can also leverage the Clear Concepts app to help us with hardware related issues. So we'll just go ahead and click that Start Over button to clear out that previous chat. And once we do so, uh, we'll start typing in our next prompt. Um, and this one reads, uh, my laptop battery isn't holding a charge for more than an hour. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad. What should I do next? So again, we've outlined our problem here. We've indicated what type of device we're using, and we're uh, we're asking the copilot for for some assistance. And again, here we can see that we're provided with a number of troubleshooting strategies to help address our laptop battery problem. Now, the Clear Concepts Copilot can also assist with purchasing new IT related products. So, let's suppose we're looking to purchase a new laptop. Now, within your prompt, you can indicate as such and provide your list of requirements for this new machine. So, we got our prompt submitted here, and we'll go ahead and hit enter. So, while the Clear Concepts app doesn't provide recommendations directly within its response, it does offer to share this information with your account manager, who will reach out to you to discuss your options. So we'll respond with saying yes to the, the follow-up question from the Clear Concepts co-pilot here. And as shown, a support ticket is opened with a clickable link to view its details. Now, as powerful as AI is, there will be some instances where it will not be able to address your issue. But thankfully, 
the Clear Concepts app has the ability to connect you with a live technician for additional support. So we'll walk through an example of this together. So as you can see, we've we've outlined a problem pertaining to our printer. Uh, we've indicated what model it is um, and kind of what what we think the issue might be. And we received a, a list of troubleshooting steps uh, from the Clear Concepts Copilot. Uh, but unfortunately, these steps aren't working for us. So we're going to go ahead and ask if we can speak to a live technician. And there we go. Uh, so as shown, we have a support ticket open for us. Again, uh, that's including a clickable link. Um, and we also have the support chat window open on the right hand side of the screen. Now this is where you'll chat with a technician to further diagnose your issue. The technician can see our chat up to this point, so there's no need to reiterate yourself within this chat. All you need to do is simply wait for the technician's response to continue the conversation. Now, as demonstrated, support tickets can be opened automatically if the provided troubleshooting suggestions do not resolve your issue. But you can also create a ticket directly by indicating that you would like one created within your first prompt to the Clear Concepts Copilot. OK, and as shown, our prompt outlines the problem we're experiencing and requests the support ticket to be created. And then again, we're given a ticket number alongside a clickable link to track its progress. Once a support ticket has been created, we can use the Clear Concepts Copilot to get a recap or summary of that ticket. All that's required is the ticket number and a request for the summary as shown. And within, within just a few moments here, we have our ticket summary returned to us. Now, if you're unsure as to what support tickets you currently have outstanding with Clear Concepts, you can ask the Clear Concepts Copilot to provide you with a list. And then within the same conversation, you could ask for a detailed summary of your ticket of interest. And while there are a number of ways to log support tickets and access real-time technician support using the Clear Concepts Copilot, now we're going to demonstrate an alternate approach. So again, on screen, we have our Clear Concepts app here uh, with the Clear Concepts Copilot located at the top. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, we are presented with a few additional options. So now we're going to take a look at the having issues button. So this is located on the left hand side of the screen. And here we can see that our technicians are currently online. So we'll go ahead and click. And here we're taken to a separate page asking us to detail the issue we are having. Now, after we've outlined our issue in detail, we are presented with two options. So first, we can get, go ahead and click the log ticket button to file a support ticket. And here we're immediately brought to the ticket page where we can see a summary and status of our ticket. Now for future reference, we can grab our ticket number located near the top left hand corner of the screen. So in this case, it's 657177. We can also select enter chat queue to launch the support chat window for real time support. OK, now shifting gears, we're going to go back to that home page and we're going to scroll down again. And this time we're going to take a look at the My Tickets button. And this one's located on the right hand side of the screen. So here we can see a list detailing all of your outstanding support tickets. So on this page, we're presented with the ticket number, the title of the ticket, when the ticket was created, and who created the ticket. Now, if you have a long list of tickets, you can use the built in search 
filter and sort tools located near the top right hand corner of the screen. Now, in order to see the details of any specific ticket, simply locate it within your list and click on it. And this will open up the ticket detail page where you can see the ticket number, ticket title, organization name, ticket priority, and ticket status amongst other pertinent details. Now, scrolling down on this page, we can add notes of our own to provide additional context for the technician reviewing your ticket if needed. If real-time support is required, uh, you can scroll back up to the top of the page and click Enter Chat Support Queue near the top right-hand corner. Now, this will open up the support chat window where a technician will join the chat when available. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to the home page again, and we're gonna scroll down. Now this time, we're gonna take a look at the user controls located near the center of the screen. So the change my name control is available for all users, whereas the remaining controls are available for admin users only. Uh, so that change my name uh, control does exactly what it says. Here, you're prompted to enter the, the name you would like to change to alongside the reason for the change. The change another username control operates very similar to change my name. Uh, here, we're prompted to provide the email address of the user whose name is to be changed, the updated name, and the reason for the change. The reset another user password control requires only one input, and that's the email address of the user needing the reset. There are also forms available to initiate the new hire and employee departure processes. Okay, and we're gonna head back to the homepage just one more time here. And again, scrolling down, let's take a look at this blue administration center button. So keep in mind, only users with the appropriate permissions will have access to this portion of the app. Assuming you have admin privileges and see the button in your version of the app, simply click to enter. And as soon as you enter, uh, you're gonna be greeted with a sidebar on the left-hand side of the screen. Now this sidebar will remain open for the entirety of your time in the administration center and can be used to navigate to the various pages or reports within it. So starting with dashboard. So at the top of the page here, we can see that we have uh, the number of support tickets created, opened, and closed within your organization over the last 30 days. And then right below these, there is a line graph showing the number of support tickets open by month, year over year. Now this provides an excellent view to see where you're trending in terms of ticket volume, and how you compare to the same time last year. And then below the line graph, uh, we have a list of all open tickets within your organization. Next on the list is the account copilot. Now this exciting new feature infuses AI into administrative tasks and operates very similarly to the clear concepts copilot described previously. So we're gonna start off by asking it about the status of a specific ticket. And we can also inquire to see if we have any outstanding invoices. Next on the list is the quotes page. And here we have an itemized list of any quotes that you have requested from our sales team. The tickets page lists all of your organization's tickets in descending order from their creation date. And again, you have the usual search, filter, and sort functionality here. You can also open up the ticket page for a specific ticket just by clicking on it. And here we can see all the ticket information and ticket activity. And again, you can add notes here to the ticket and enter the chat support queue from this page. 
Next is the invoices page, and this lists all of your invoices. Again, clicking on a specific invoice opens up the invoice detail page. And here we get a more granular view of the invoice, including which products and time entries are being accounted for in it. Next, we have the inventory page, and this details all the managed hardware your organization has on account. You can click on a specific piece of hardware to open up the inventory detail page. And here we get more specifics on this particular piece of equipment. And then lastly, we have the agreements page. And here we can see a list of all active agreements that your organization has with Clear Concepts. Okay, with that, I'm going to pass things back over to Ryan. All right, thank you, Kyle. It was a whirlwind demo. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's there's so much more uh, that, that we could show you. Uh, a lot of great demo material. But you can really get a sense of, of our imagination here. And again, how we anchored those experiences around um, our three groups or our three constituencies, those co-pilots and those AI experiences where you can talk to something uh, rather than picking up the phone, rather than sending an email, you can see how AI plays into those. And again, benefits our end users or your colleagues, again, using uh, the, the IT services from Clear Concepts, that great account admin center um, that is, again, a completely different uh, experience, different permissions, different visibility uh, for somebody that wants to keep the tabs on IT operations and uh, the goings on across all of those various blades. And um, I would, would be remiss to not talk about, again, our, our technicians, um, just to give you, again, a, a look behind the curtains. Uh, our technicians here at Clear Concepts uh, on the service desk team have their version of the application as well, where they can see ticket volume and ticket history. They can participate in those uh, real-time chats with end users. And again, the experience here is also anchored around a co-pilot uh, an AI assistant for our technicians to get help, get suggestions, um, look through error logs or go through knowledge base articles, all of our internal documentation, really how we serve you as our customer is baked into the intelligence that the co-pilot again is there to assist our technicians to make support uh, much easier. And it definitely goes without saying much faster speed and speed to resolution uh, and even uh, speed to get get a, a ticket avoided is um, not a speeding ticket. That is uh, if AI can provide an answer in a much faster way, speed is one of our big goals. So speaking of goals, um, again, I mentioned that we wanted this to be as broadly accessible as possible. So now I'll take you through some of the deployment options here for the Clear Concepts app. First of all is, is web. Use your favorite browser. If your favorite browser is Microsoft Edge, extra points. Uh, I love using Edge, but hey, uh, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, any of these will do, and will do across both Windows and Mac devices. So if you want to use the Clear Concepts app in your browser, no problem. You can pin it to your start page. When you open a new browser tab, you can add it to your favorites. Uh, you can even save it down into your start menu. Uh, if you're on Windows, if you want to make it its own little app, no problem. As well, we've, uh, we've continued with the path of making the Clear Concepts app available as a Microsoft Teams app. So whether you're using the desktop, sort of the installed version of Microsoft Teams, on your Windows or Mac machine, or you prefer the web client, if you just use Teams in your browser, again, across Windows or Mac, no problem. Uh, when we deploy the Clear Concepts app for you, you have that choice of having it made available as a Teams app. And again, users can pin it there. Um, we can push down a policy that will have it automatically pinned for them. But if you spend so much of your time, probably an increasing amount of time, in the Microsoft Teams app. Again, we want IT and we want support to be just a few clicks away. And there it is inside Microsoft Teams for you and your users. 
as well. Uh, this one catches folks off guard, but you can actually use Microsoft365.com or Office.com as an app launcher as well. Um, these are added as add-ins or extensions to Office, um, whether it's traditional Office apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or modern uh, web-based apps like the Clear Concepts app. Uh, again, if you use uh, Microsoft365.com as your portal to everything 365, uh, that's done from your web browser. And again, this will work just fine on Windows or Mac. As well, uh, another surprise for those uh, email uh, heavy folks, those email uh, mavericks out there, um, we have the capability of adding the Clear Concepts app into Outlook. So again, if you spend most of your day in your email inbox, in your email folders, and in your calendars, again, we wanted IT support to not be much more than a few clicks away. So we can add the Clear Concepts app here as an extension in Outlook. The only gotcha here is you've got to be using the new Outlook, uh, and I hope you you are, and I hope you're trying that out uh, because Microsoft will inevitably change that for us very soon. Also works in the web app of Outlook, uh, and this experience does work across Windows and Mac, no problem. Uh, as you can see in the graphic here, you can have that little app launcher with the uh, Clear Concepts app no further than a few clicks away and you can pin it and keep it available to you uh, at all times. Now, mobile. Uh, again, we know that an increasing number of our customers users are not sitting at desks, not in front of PCs all day long. So we wanted to ensure that the Clear Concepts app was available for first line workers, for frontline users, uh, for those that may be working different shifts or throughout the day or the weekend. So the experience is completely available on mobile, iOS or Android, uh, pick your poison, and available through uh, actually a few different flavors, if you will. You can get to the Clear Concepts app from your smartphone's browser, whether it's the built-in browser or you use Edge or Chrome, uh, or Firefox, Brave, whichever uh, browser is going to work. If you have the Teams app installed on your smartphone, again, uh, when we deploy it once to Teams, we're deploying it everywhere to Teams in your organization. The Microsoft 365 app, again, same, same difference for us. We're still deploying it to Microsoft 365 as an extension, and you can pick it up from your mobile Microsoft 365 app. Um, quick tip is that app will uh, replace Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, SharePoint, it's an all-in-one app. If you haven't checked it out yet for your smartphone, please do. And again, last but not least, is honorable mentions to Outlook. Again, if you don't want Teams on your phone, you don't want Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on, on your personal phone, uh, chances are you're putting Outlook on to get at least your work email uh, with you on the go. Uh, again, IT support from Clear Concepts is never more than, uh, in this case, a few finger presses away. So shifting gears into the future a little bit, um, I know we've been working on this app for, for many years. Um, we've been making many, many changes. We decided that this was the point in 2024 that we wanted to share really what we were up to. Um, this product certainly is, this tool, this application certainly is ready for prime time, but we're also very, very excited about where it's going in the future. Uh, as they say, the best is really yet to come. So I want to take a few moments just to share our development roadmap. Uh, if you're not quite set on getting the Clear Concepts app today, just take a look at some of the things that we have going in the development team. For end users, again, in the um, generic Clear Concepts app, we've got a number of improvements slated. Faster AI responses, the AI tools that we're getting from OpenAI and Microsoft are improving daily, weekly, monthly, uh, and we're looking forward to uh, faster, lower latency AI responses. Uh, and again, in that um, improvement cycle of the various GPTs. Screenshot sharing and AI diagnose is part, uh, again, of the experience where Maybe you're just at a loss for words and a picture may be worth uh, more than a thousand words when it comes to describing what is going on on your screen. 
So we'll be able to use AI to take a look at the screen, identify the application, identify the error, and uh, automatically create a ticket for you and for your users. Uh, hardware requests, as you saw Kyle demonstrate, that uh, currently does send a ticket, send a note to your account manager. But wouldn't it be great if your line manager, your own manager, could approve uh, either a hardware purchase or a hardware allocation uh, or the deployment of a particular uh, IT uh, asset to you or to your users? So that is something we're working on. Security and outage alerting, uh, alerting Really, you don't have to go too far from the news to hear about, you know, the next uh, cybersecurity scare. So of uh, of note or anything that we feel is going to be important for our Clear Concepts customers to know, uh, we're going to use the Clear Concepts app really as a as a big megaphone to let everybody know. Kyle also demonstrated the new hire and the offboarding forms. Uh, we're pleased to announce that customizable on and offboarding forms are coming in the near future. If your business has a, just a slightly different on or offboarding process, um, approvals or even parallel approvals are typically part of that process. If we can assist by creating those customizable forms, uh, even using AI to uh, understand and create a summary of the on or offboarding request, that is coming quite soon. Deeper Microsoft Teams integration means just taking leverage, uh, taking advantage rather of features within Microsoft Teams, things like notifications, things like calling and uh, messaging. That's really the, the core of Microsoft Teams. If we can help you get to the Clear Concepts app or help you open a ticket or start a new technician chat faster by using some of the native uh, Teams user interface that is definitely on uh, one of our near term goals. And improved accessibility. Uh, again, we want to make the app easier to use, uh, easier to talk to or have it talk back to you uh, across all sorts of different reading uh, and visual requirements as well. We aim to make this uh, as accessible as possible for all of our customers. On the administrative side, again, on the account owner, on the VIP, on the business owner side of things, uh, lots on the roadmap for administrative improvements, things like warranty reporting, uh, what devices are expiring, uh, what devices have expiring warranty in the next you know, 30, 60, 90 days. Um, can we look and be proactive about those warranty renewals or device replacements? Security reporting, uh, pulling in information from your Microsoft environment. If you are fully in the cloud, you can take advantage of all that great security telemetry, uh, which we would like to present to you in the Clear Concepts app. And the last few ones here are, are really about enhancing the um, the account management side of things and the future planning relationship that you have with Clear Concepts. So sharing information about the quarterly business reviews that you may be doing with your account manager, uh, any goal setting or any uh, future objectives that you're working with with your account manager and Clear Concepts as a whole. And that includes an AI assisted virtual CIO. Uh, a co-pilot that you can ask about IT goals or how does IT factor, how does technology factor into something that you are trying to achieve this quarter, this half, or this year with your business. So a very outcomes-driven co-pilot, if you will, uh, matched up with the various solutions uh, that we provide here at Clear Concepts. And last but not least, certainly not least, is AI-driven account insights. This is more about predictive analysis and machine learning. We've got this great telemetry on your users, on the tickets, on the things that you're asking of us, of the things you're asking of uh, Clear Concepts as a whole across service desk and sales. Can we provide some AI-driven timely insights, some things to try, some projects to get onto the roadmap, or some suggestions for uh, turning on multi-factor authentication if we notice that it's off, or taking risky accounts and applying more uh, security controls. Various things like that, uh, we believe we can deliver through uh, AI-driven account insights. And again, behind the scenes, uh, under the hood, under the covers, uh, whichever analogy you would like, our technician uh, application has uh, a very rich roadmap 
again, with the focus on saving you time. The faster that we can resolve your issue by bringing in AI, by bringing in automation, uh, we've got a lot of features that we're adding to the technician experience that uh, unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say you may never see on your screen, uh, but rest assured that we are improving that experience here for our technicians to help you when they need to. So let's talk about everybody's favorite uh, thing here is uh, this is Winnipeg or we're, we're headquartered here in, in Winnipeg, of course, and we know that Winnipeggers love a deal. So when it comes to pricing for the Clear Concepts app, uh, this was just a joke, folks. It's absolutely free for our Clear Concepts managed IT customers. If Clear Concepts currently takes care of your IT infrastructure, your users and your cybersecurity, uh, we're more than happy to get this application out to you and your users. Again, if you're not a Clear Concepts managed service customer today, if you're looking at switching providers, if you're looking for a reason to, uh, or you know, IT has been a little bit of a struggle for you in terms of speed and resolution, again, this is just one of those uh, additional benefits of taking a look with Clear Concepts. All right, uh, let's talk about onboarding because I know everybody is going to want to get their hands on the Clear Concepts app as soon as possible. Now, we realize that the Clear Concepts app is a new concept. Talking to AI, talking to a bot to get AI support is uh, going to be a little bit of a learning curve. Going to an application to log a ticket or start a chat, going to these various portals and dashboards to see account information is a change no problem so uh doing what we do here at clear concepts again we have put an adoption framework around the clear concepts and the app onboarding uh, again knowing that we need to change user behavior uh, carefully and slowly so we've put together a package when you do onboard for the clear concepts app uh, first of all, letting us know who should have the various levels of permissions, uh, where you want it deployed, again, across web, Teams, Outlook, and Microsoft365.com. And we'll also give you the internal promotional tools and email template that you can send to all of your staff, just making them aware uh, of the application's availability. We have training if you would like it. We have online uh, on our YouTube channel that just went live this morning end user tutorials on how to use all of the features. Uh, Kyle has prepared those videos for us. So it's really everything is there uh, ready to go in the box for you. And if you want to opt in now, uh, sign up today, if you will, uh, you can go to clearconcepts.ca slash client app, all one word. There's a big orange sign up button down towards the bottom of that page. Again, let us know your name, let us know your email, your company name, and where you would like the app deployed. Or you can contact your Clear Concepts account manager, zip them an email, give them a phone call, however you like to get in touch with them today, and just let them know that you would like the Clear Concepts app and how you would like it delivered and who you'd like to have access to it and we will get that going for you. Now, we're gonna deal with these onboardings one at a time, uh, sort of in priority sequence. So if you'd like the app sooner than later, again, uh, feel free to head over to clearconcepts.ca slash client app, uh, opt in now, opt in today uh, to get on our deployment list, which will be starting as early as tomorrow. So uh, we have just a little bit more time together and just to wind things up and close things down, I wanna take us all back to uh, just over a month ago. If you attended the last webinar that Kyle and I uh, and the team here had put together, it was around something called Copilot Factory. And this was our introduction to, to the market for our offering around custom AI, custom Copilot development. And again, in that session, you'll likely remember if you did attend um, our focus on how we build AI and how we build co-pilots here at Clear Concepts. Well, the interesting thing is um, this app, the Clear Concepts app, is actually the first item off of our co-pilot factory assembly line. 
everything that we've learned in the last three years, all of our bruises and scar tissue uh, is actually for your benefit. If your organization is looking for custom AI, if the Clear Concepts app sort of sparks something or does give you an, an idea for your own AI, uh, again, we are here to help within our Copilot factory frame, framework. All of the lessons, again, all of the lessons that we've learned uh, over the last number of years, all of the trials and tribulations and me renaming things about 1500 different times, um, notwithstanding, uh, is, is here for, for you to use. So if you have that inkling, if you're AI curious uh, or just want to get started on developing what the future of your business looks like with an app, with a service, with a co-pilot, uh, again, our work here has um, has built up a great framework. So speaking of that framework, uh, again, I just want to take the opportunity to refresh with everybody and just re restate our approach to AI here at Clear Concepts. And again, if you've joined in events, if you've listened to our AI for SMB podcast, you're probably used to hearing our crawl, walk, run paradigm. Uh, it's a strategy that worked for us across modern work, uh, getting customers to the cloud, using Microsoft Teams and getting files into cloud storage. So we've, we have applied it here to AI again. What maps beautifully onto crawl, walk, run is the three Bs, begin, buy and build. And again, this is our fundamental, fundamental approach to AI here at Clear Concepts. And then it's really easy uh, to, to sort of map on products uh, or map on services to crawl, walk, run, or begin, buy, and build. Here in this continuum, begin means using Microsoft Copilot, which is available for free for any organization uh, that is in Office 365 or Microsoft 365. And we have some training uh, that's specifically put around prompt engineering and Copilot 101. If you're looking to buy off the shelf AI products and co-pilots, some great options in Microsoft Teams Premium, which lets you do AI meeting recap, or Microsoft 365 Copilot or Copilot for Microsoft 365, depending on which piece of marketing collateral you read from Microsoft. Um, both of these are additional user subscriptions that you can add on to. Uh, Microsoft 365 and Teams that just bring you those various co-pilot experiences. Again, off the shelf, ready to go. Uh, implementation, learning curve, you know, there's a few things to consider, but uh, I hope you know by now you can call on Clear Concepts to help you with those AI strategies. And last but not least here is build again across our build paradigm is our co-pilot factory, which is that foundry for custom AI experiences, custom co-pilots, whether they are broad AI applications across your line of business, or they're just very specific, small uh, virtual agents or chatbots trained in particular documents or on your website. Again, we are here to help across that continuum. And um, AI really is is just one one brick, one piece of the entire Clear Concepts story. Now uh, let's take it back to getting your organization to the cloud and being a cloud first organization. Our capabilities around data migrations, whether it's infrastructure or apps, getting you into Teams phone or modernizing your networking for the cloud and AI era securing all of your digital assets through our focus on zero trust, whether that's cybersecurity awareness, turning things on like multi-factor authentication and delivering on data loss prevention so that none of your data uh, does uh, egress when it shouldn't. Again, modern work, you're likely used to hearing me talk about modern work, but this is really centered around Microsoft 365, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, through uh, Viva, which is employee experience, process automation, growing a data-driven culture, and of course, considering collaborative accessibility. And so you can see how all of these pieces really play well and add up to that goal of delivering on artificial intelligence for small and medium-sized businesses, whether that's taking some Copilot 101 training, uh, deploying Teams Premium or Microsoft 365 Copilot, 
or engaging with Copilot Factory for custom AI development for your organization. And the most important thing, the most important thing is that Clear Concepts managed service expertise underpins that entire offering. Uh, over 20 years of managed service experience is at the heart, at the core of everything we do uh, across these very modern offerings from Clear Concepts. And with that, I'm just incredibly proud. I'm incredibly proud of the team, um, the, the team that's worked on the app for a few years, the team that's had to put up with our many, many changes in direction and focus, uh, the team that has responded to every new development in AI and Teams and SharePoint and all the tools that underpin the Clear Concepts app. Everything comes together really to allow us to say that we are truly Canada's next generation IT service provider across those service offerings, across our thought leadership in uh, all of those various areas, bringing enterprise tech down to the small and medium sized arena. And of course, the latest development, which is our Clear Concepts app, just all goes together into telling a delightful story, uh, which I'm just so proud of everybody's hard work over the last months and weeks and, and years. So we're, we're very, very proud of it all coming together. We're very, very proud to uh, and excited to get it into your hands. We hope that you are candid with your feedback. Let us know how we can improve the Clear Concepts app and how we can improve our services to you over time. Uh, it's just a very, very, well, it's been one of the longest gestations for, <laughs> for a project. But we, again, are just so excited to get this uh, out into your hands. So on behalf of myself here, on behalf of Kyle, everyone uh, here at Clear Concepts, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. If, if I turn this meeting off and my inbox has exploded with folks wanting to get the app tomorrow, uh, you'd make me a happy guy. Thank you for sharing some time with us. And uh, thank you for being our customers, being part of the Clear Concepts family.